What's up, guys? It's Richard from Clash with RLF. Wow, I was going to uh, do a video, but here is a live attack by Alex, and this is going to be very interesting because he is a Town Hall 9 attacking a Town Hall 10, um, and so his troops are definitely not maxed. Um, the problem is most of the Town Hall nines are three starred except for a couple so and it's interesting to see how he's going to do i always find it fascinating when you get like a town hall nine attacking a town hall 10 he's going right towards the center and he does funnel his troop really well except for the um wizards i mean except for the witches on the bottom and it Unfortunately, they don't go to the center. He does get to Town Hall, and he misses the Queen's ability. Um, but he does get one star. It's a pretty gutsy move for him. He has two snipes team left, a minion and an archer. which, And he has an archer already placed, and he's placing his second archer actually can't really tell where he placed the second archer. Uh, let's um, zoom in. Um, 40%, 41, 42, 43. Uh, this was a um, really gutsy move by um, Alex. Uh, so he definitely gets 44, 45%. Wow. That, I mean, for our number 16 guy to be attacking our number 11, he is um, 16 out of 20 um, at, towards the bottom of our Town Hall 10, 9. Um, I'm pretty impressed that he was able to get 45% and he was able to get the one star. I think if he would have gotten the Queen's ability, he may have been able to get two more percentage, um, 46, 47%. And then if the witches would have gone towards the center, he would have gotten more. But still, it's a pretty impressive um, score, I think, for a Town Hall 8. Wow. If he doesn't run out of time, he would have gotten 47. So he definitely, I think if he would have gotten the Queen's ability and the wall breakers would have been released earlier um the witches would have gotten the wizard tower and possibly even the archer queen um, platform and he would have gotten the two star so um this was so close um good try i was actually going to show two attacks by our two mates uh, the first one is a new guy to our team and I thought it was actually our old mate who changed his name to N8 but he's a new guy he brought four jumps but he also brought 12 wall breakers I was trying to convince him not to but um, as as I told him there's more than one ways of attacking a base so maybe him bringing wall breakers are a good thing he probably should have dropped them in groups of threes because he does as you can see on the north side, he tried to attack it in two angles with two and two, and it failed. But if he would have combined it as four, it would have been fine. And he drops the poison right on the lava hound. Um, and his golem on the left already died. So now he's going to drop his king and queen because all the surrounding structures are gone. So they will be funneled to the center. And then the poison sort of expires um, when the lava puff comes, but it's okay because the um, he, he has enough troops to clean that up, and he easily gets the town hall. Uh, this is the only part that I would have done different: is he has a jump remaining, and he puts it right where the king is, but the jump was still there. I would have actually probably placed it um, between the archer tower and cannon at 11 o'clock because as you see so 
If I had a jump remaining, I would just see where my troops get stuck and help them go. And his queen, archer queen, is going to go down with the expo. But as you can see in the corner there, he still has troops. His wizard was doing a good job there. Um, he dropped it early enough, so he was able. The wizard was able to clear a couple of um, outside buildings. And here is where I would have probably put the jumps. So maybe they would have gotten the archer tower, which isn't maxed, but um, good try anyway. Um, he's also um, sniping in the bottom. And just going to speed that up just because um, that's just going to get us 54%. So the second attack is by our Nate, who used to be our Town Hall 9 three star Golava. He took over the job I did, and it seems like he's moving up. So Nate brings seven golems, which totally shocked me. I thought he was going to come with six golems like everybody else. But he had a golem in the CC troop. And he probably thought of bringing seven because of the fact that there was one single inferno. And single infernos are really difficult. I thought he was going to put it on the edge. But on the edge, he put two. So we'll see how this unfolds. He has two wizards, um, maybe for sniping. And... Um, he still hasn't used his rage spell, which he's saving for the center, and he still has another jump spell. So his troops are going to go towards the center. And I think with single infernos, the raids go pretty fast, which is why there's only 52 seconds remaining. And he rages by the town hall, and he puts a poison spell by the lava hounds so the queen doesn't get too distracted. And the single infernos are killing his golems. But uh, his archer queen luckily is going to attack the town hall and he does a jump and he probably should have put the jump on the other side where the golems are but it's okay. Um, I thought he, the queen, he's going to use the queen's royal cloak ability and he gets to town hall. So with 18 seconds remaining he's going to start sniping the uh, builder's hut and then he can also snipe the gold um, girl. I think that we would have like finished these raids much earlier in the past, but now with the uh, tiebreaker, we don't. Anyway, I hope you. <laughs> Sorry, that's my dog Casey. I hope you enjoyed these videos, and if you do, please remember to like, subscribe, and comment below. And as always, thanks for watching my videos. Bye.